Reading Rocket. Disney Pixar Turning Red, the graphic novel. Family Matters, Maylin Lee, or May. Academic all-star May Lin is rocking eighth grade, scoring straight A's, excelling in band, and making plans with her besties to change the world. She's a star in her mom's eyes too, the perfect obedient daughter who does her chores like clockwork and is always eager to please. In fact, May Lin's number one rule is honor your parents. She makes it all look easy until she discovers the ancient magic behind her family's really big secret. Keeping it together is a lot harder when you're charged up with hormones and covered with red fur. Red Panda May. Middle school is challenging enough, but imagine navigating that social minefield knowing that one laugh, cry, or burst of anger can transform you into a giant red panda. When Maylin gets emotional, she poofs into an eight-foot-tall, hormone-fueled red panda with an adorable but highly destructive fluffy tail. Ming Li Maylin's elegant and fierce mom is always in control of herself and everything else. Ming is the devoted keeper of the Li family temple, and for years, Maylin has rushed home from school to help her mother clean and maintain the temple and entertain its guests. Perfectionist Ming expects the best from her precious daughter, and Maylin does everything she can to make her mom happy. No matter what, Ming has a deep love for her family. Jin Li, quiet, Thoughtful, Jin brings a calming balance to his wife Ming's strong-willed nature. He loves to cook for his family, enjoys gardening, and adores his daughter, Mei Lin. When adolescent angst causes storms between his daughter and his wife, Jin does his best to help hold the family steady. Friendship Forever, Miriam Mendelshan. One of Mei Lin's besties, 13-year-old Miriam, is everything a best friend should be. Loyal, funny, and supportive. She's always there to coax Mei Lin into an impromptu dance party or lend her a prized four-town CD. And she is 100% there for Mei Lin's growing independence from her mom. Priya might be the most subdued of Mei Lin's crew, but her friends know she's a bit of a wild card with a deadpan sense of humor. She's quick to jump to Maylin's defense, especially against that gigantic dork, Tyler. And like the rest of Maylin's crew, Priya's obsessed with the boy band for town. Abby Park. Abby is a big friend in a small package, tiny but fiercely protective of her besties and ready for any adventure. She's fired up about everything, from her projects to protect the environment, to her choice for cutest boy band, for town obviously, and her fists of fury are ready to wail on anyone who messes with her friends. Tyler Nguyen Baker Maylin's arch nemesis, Tyler, has the annoying habit of popping up just in time to make an embarrassing situation even worse. He makes fun of others and cracks jokes at their expense, never missing a chance to kick someone when they're down. Tyler's jerkish, aggressive behavior is really an attempt to protect himself from being labeled a loser, but it doesn't win him many friends. For Town Forever For Town In 2002, the biggest boy band in the world is For Town which strangely has five members, Robert, Young, Jesse, Aaron Z, and Aaron T are not only the greatest singers and hype dancers, but they also write their own songs. No wonder Maylin and her besties each dream of marrying a different band member. They'll do whatever they have to, including launching Operation Four Town Shakedown to get tickets to the Four Town concert. Family Reunion Grandma Ming's demanding critical mother sets high expectations for her daughter and granddaughter. Fortunately for the Lee family, 
Grandma turned over the family temple to Ming years ago and is now content to critique her life from afar. But when she suspects Ming has let Mei Lin's red panda situation get out of hand, Grandma is at their doorstep in a heartbeat, sisters and cousins in tow to take charge. The Aunties and Cousins Both Mei Lin and Ming are surprised when Grandma shows up along with Ming's glamorous aunts and cousins. Grandma's younger sisters, Auntie Chen and Auntie Ping, bring their own daughters, Cousin Helen and Cousin Lily. Auntie Chen is petite and bossy. Her daughter, Helen, can be grumpy, but she loves her family. Auntie Ping is a legendary cook, and her daughter, Lily, is a drama queen. The number one rule in my family, honor your parents. But if you take it too far, you might forget to honor yourself. I'm Maylin Lee, and ever since I turned 13, I've been doing my own thing, making my own moves 24-7, 365. I wear what I want, say what I want, and I will not hesitate to do a spontaneous cartwheel if I feel so moved. Not to brag, but being 13 means I'm officially a grown-up, at least according to the Toronto Transit Commission. Besties assemble. Miriam! Ai! Ha ha! Priya! Yo! Abby! What's up, May? Overachieving dork narc. Ready to change the world? Wake up, LBP Middle School. It's 2002 and our cafeteria is still using plastic cups. Preach, sister! Plastic kills. I know it's a lot, but this is grade 8. I don't have time to mess around. Bring! This is gonna be my year. Mmm, Devon. Ew, he looks like a hobo. May I remind you what real men look like? Four town! We are four townies, remember? Ride or die. Yeah, but tickets to four town are like a bajillion dollars, and Devon's right here. Ah, I gotta go. It's cleaning day. Our family runs one of the oldest temples in Chinatown, and the most unique. Instead of honoring a god, we honor our ancestors. Hey mom, you're 10 minutes late. Are you hurt? Hungry? How was school? Kill it per usual. All A's. You ready? Let's do this. Our most revered ancestor, Sun Yi, was a scholar, poet, and defender of animals. She dedicated her life to the creatures of the forest, especially the red panda. Ta-da! Oh, so cute! Ever since the red panda has blessed our family with good fortune and prosperity, and it can bless yours too. Bye-bye, thanks for coming. See you next time. Give me five, yeah. May quickly hides her notebook and hopes her mom doesn't see it. Do you want a snack? Is this your homework? Mom, don't. Ugh, who is he? Did he do these things to you? It's just a boy. It's just made up, Mom. It's not real. That hat. Is he the sketchy clerk from the Daisy Mart? Minutes later at the Daisy Mart. No, 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 no. You? What have you done to my Mei Mei? Uh, who? What? I should report you to the police. Mom, no! What a weirdo. Thank goodness I was here. That degenerate won't come near you again. It's fine. You'll move to another city. Change your identity. Why would you draw those horrible, awful, sexy things? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mommy. This will never happen again. 
the next morning. May May, are you up? Breakfast is ready. Coming. Ah! Is everything okay? This isn't happening. This isn't happening. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wait, did the red peony bloom? No? Maybe? Don't worry, May May. Mommy's here. I've got everything you need. Ibuprofen, hot water bottles, and pads. Regular, overnight, scented, unscented. Awesome. Just leave them by the sink. You are a woman now, and your body is starting to change. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Mom, please. Beep, beep, beep. The fire alarm. My porridges. <sighs> oh, calm down. Take a deep breath. Poof. What the? Yes. Poof. No. I'm calm. Zen. Poof. Okay, no biggie. You'll figure this out. Just be the calm, mature adult you totally are. I know it feels strange, but no one will notice a thing. Thank you for your concern, Mother, but I'll be fine. Um, what's with the toque? Um, bad hair day. May. We gotta talk. Tyler's been telling everyone about the Daisy Mart. He said your mom went nuts. And that you're kind of a perv. I'm not a... No! Tyler keeps putting these up. Knock it off, butthead. <laughs> oh, Devon, my precious manly man. I'm going to kill him! <gasps> Smell you later, dorks! <laughs> Gotta go, see you at lunch! Later in math class. What is with you? You're being weird. I'm just really excited about math! Alright guys, the quadratic formula. Let the fun begin! Uh... Your mom is outside? No, no, this isn't happening. Uh, ma'am, my child goes to the school. May May, tell him it's mommy. Tell him you forgot your pads. Ah! <coughs> May May, come back here. Gotta get home, gotta hide. May May, stop. Jing. Get home now. There's been an emergency. Is it the woman thing? No, another one. Ah, it's a monster. Run! May May. May May? <gasps> Don't look at me. Stay back. What's happening to me? Sweetie, it's okay. Mommy's here. It's happened already? What did you say? Ming. It's time. As you know, our ancestor Sun Yi had a mystical connection with red pandas. In fact, she loved them so much that she asked the gods to turn her into one. It was wartime. The men were all gone. Sun Yi was desperate for a way to protect herself and her daughters. Then one night during a red moon, the gods granted her wish. They gave her the ability to harness her emotions to transform into the powerful mystical beast. Sun Yi passed this gift to her daughters for when they came of age, and they passed it to theirs. But over time, our family chose to come to a new world, and what was a blessing became an inconvenience. Are you serious? She meant a blessing! It's a curse! You cursed us! It's all your fault! Why didn't you warn me? I thought I had more time. If I watched you like a hawk, I'd see the signs, be able to prepare. But it's going to be fine. I overcame it, and you will too. On the next red moon, you'll undergo a ritual that will seal your red panda spirit into a pendant. And then you will be cured for good, just like me. 
but any strong emotion will release the panda, and the more you release it, the more difficult the ritual will be. Poof! Please just go away! There is a darkness to the panda, Mei Mei. You have only one chance to banish it, and you cannot fail, otherwise you'll never be free. Mei Mei, it's us! Open up! The next red moon is just one month away on the 25th. We were so worried. We thought you died of embarrassment. Are you okay? Tap if you can hear us. Guys, what are you doing? Go away. Forget that. Fort Town is coming to Toronto. May 18th. What? Ah! Hey, shh. It's just me, it's me! I'm gonna let go, and you're gonna be chill. Sick, are you a werewolf? May, what the heck happened? She's a red panda, you're so fluffy! It's, uh, you know, just some inconvenient, uh, genetic thingy I got from my mom. I mean, it'll go away, eventually, maybe. <laughs> I'm a freak, just leave me alone. Aw, oh, May, it's going to be okay. <sighs> Thanks, guys, you're the best. We love you, May, no matter what, panda or no panda. You're our girl. Poof. Whoa, May, you are you, and you look amazing. Aw, is it gone? For now, but if I get too excited, it comes right back. Ow, Abby, what the heck? Something feels different. Oh my gosh, I stayed calm. Something about you guys, like, neutralizes the panda. I can have my life back. No, even better. You can come with us to Four Town. This could be our only chance to see them together. We're all asking our parents tonight. We are making our stand. Yeah, you in? Or you out. But I can't ask my mom. I'm a furry ticking time bomb. Of awesomeness. And now you can control it. Just prove it to her and she's got to let you go. Later. Ready. Deforestation. Sad orangutan. Mm. Your second place spelling trophy. What a shame. How adorable. How is this possible? What happened to your panda? When I start to get emotional, I imagine the people I love most, which is you guys. So now that's settled. I just have one teeny tiny favor to ask. A few minutes later. No, absolutely not. It's one thing to stay calm at home, but a concert? You'll panda all over the place. What? But this is once in a lifetime. Maybe we should trust her. It's them I don't trust. Look at those glittery delinquents with their, ugh, gyrations. No concert, and that's final. Am I the only one who sees the danger here? There's no way she could keep her panda in. Bring! It's your mother. Ming, I know about Mei Mei. I was just about to call you, but everything's fine. I'm going to handle the ritual on my own. The way you handled Mei Mei being on the news, I'm on the way with reinforcements. the next day. Dude, keep it together. I can't. We need to see this concert. I never asked for anything. My whole life, I've been her perfect Maymay. If they don't trust us anyway, then what's the point? Wow, who are you? I love it. Fight the power. This isn't just our first concert. This is our first step into womanhood, and we have to do it together. I'm in. We'll say it's a sleepover at my house. Yes, 
My mom will never know. Now, we just gotta raise the money for tickets. Think. Operation Four Town Shakedown is about to commence. The boys are coming to Toronto May 18th. Our goal? Four tickets. That's 800 bucks. Step one, neutralize the Empress. Mathletes? Isn't it dangerous to join an after-school club now? What's dangerous is an academic record with a lack of extracurriculars. Step two, spread the word. Step three, hustle this panda and squeeze every last loony out of those kids. Yeah, let's go. After a few weeks, five, 10, ugh. The concert's this Saturday and we're still a hundred bucks short. I wanna talk to you, Lee. Are you spying on us? Forget it. Fine, wonder if your mom knows her precious little May May has been flaunting the panda all over school. <gasps> In a flash of anger, Maylin poofs into a red panda, but calms herself and poofs back into a girl. What do you want, Tyler? I want to throw a sick birthday party, an epic one. It's this Friday. If you're there, everyone will come. Hmm, I'll do it, but it'll cost you one, no, 200 bucks. Okay, but you only get the panda for one hour and we're not bringing any presents. Deal. Later that evening. Okay, I'm off to Mathletes. Wait. I made all your favorites. Thanks, but Miriam's dad is ordering pizza. Save me leftovers? What if I came with you? I was Mathlete's champ in grade eight, you know. Cool. Oh, Jade Palace is on tonight. Can't miss that, right? Now who's the weak link? Priya and Abby seem bright enough, but Miriam? And traffic's a nightmare. I mean, she's a nice girl, but maybe she's slowing you down. Mom, I don't want you to come. Rumble. Aunties, what are you doing here? The ritual, silly. She's lost weight. No, she's gained weight. She looks like her mother. Hey, Grandma. Mother. Poor dear. It must be so difficult keeping that unruly beast at bay. Your family is here now and we will take care of everything. Where is she? So, Mei Mei, you've been managing to keep the panda in? Yep, totally. It's true, and if Mei Mei's panda is anything like Ming's... Hard to believe Mei Mei could control such a beast, she's just a child. Anyway, I think I'll go to bed early. Keeping that animal locked down takes a lot of energy. Night, everyone. Mei Mei, can I have a word with you? I found this. I know what you're doing. I know how hard it is to keep the beast in. It feels so good to let it out. But each time you do, the stronger it gets. And then you'll be bound to it forever and the ritual will fail. That cannot happen. Your mother and I were close once, but the red panda took that away. So no more panda. You are your mother's whole world. Mei Mei, I know you'll do what's right. I knew she'd flake. Just wait. Yo, what's up, peeps? I'm paying for the red panda, not this garbage. Are you feeling okay? Trust me on this. I can't panda anymore. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. You don't have to do it. We'll just figure out... I won't go. We only have enough money for three tickets. Then I'll stay home. No, I'll stay home. Guys, if we can't all go, then none of us should go, right? Just one last time. Poof. Let's hear it for the birthday boy. You sure the hotel's all right? It'll do. At least breakfast is free. 
Get some rest. You look tired. Good night, Ming. Ming, this is a critical time. Mei Mei needs a strong hand. Don't let her out of your sight. I won't, mother. What? Oh, Mei Mei. What is all... This! <gasps> yeah, we did it! We are seeing Fort Town. May, what if you didn't do the ritual? What if you kept the panda? You're such a rebel now. I'm proud of you. My mom would freak. All her hopes and dreams are pinned on me. But if it weren't for you, none of this would be happening. You the bomb. Next up is Fort Town. The boys are coming to Toronto on the 25th. So get your tickets now. Poof. Abby, you said the concert was the 18th. It is. He's wrong. Look. Uh, this says Toledo. Oh no. Fort Town is the same night as the ritual? What are you doing? We want more rides. You want your money? Get your butt down here now. Forget your money and forget you. Fine. Get out of here. Go back to your psycho mom and your creepy temple, you freak. Take it back. Ah! Minutes later. I'm so sorry. She's never done anything like this before. She is an animal. All right, party's over. Everyone go home. I can't believe you girls would use her like this. But we didn't. We'd never. May, tell her. She is a good girl and you've taken advantage of her. Come on, Mei Mei, let's go. One week later. How many tickets? <sighs> Three, please. Don't worry, Mei Mei. I've got 50 years of being a shaman. This will be a piece of cake. Long ago, the spirits blessed the women of our family with a great challenge. Mei Mei, tonight is your turn. Like all the women around this table, you too will banish the beast within and become your true self. May Sun Yi guide you and keep you safe. Hear, hear. Don't blow it. It's almost time. The red moon is about to begin. Mei Mei, go get ready. Hey, Dad. I'm almost ready. What has your mother told you about her panda? Nothing. She won't talk about it. It was quite destructive. She almost took out half the temple. You saw it? Only once. She and your grandma had a terrible fight. Over what? Your grandma did not approve of me. But you should have seen your mom. She was incredible. People have all kinds of sides to them. And some sides are... messy. The point is not to push the bad stuff away. It's to make room for it. Live with it. Mei Mei, it's time. Don't move from the circle. For as long as the red moon shines, the astral realm will be open. And this circle is the door. The door will open only if we sing from our hearts. It doesn't matter what. I like Tony Bennett, but your grandma, she is from old school. Now, focus on their voices. Louder, louder. Sun Yi, revered ancestor, guide this girl through her inner storm and return the red panda spirit from where it came. In the astral realm, Sun Yi? Mei Mei, you can do it. Mei Lin remembers all the good and bad moments she experienced as a panda and realizes that this is who she is. She can't give that up. No! <coughs> what happened? Mei Mei? It's okay, we can do it again. I'm keeping it. What did she say? Mei Mei, stop! Let go! Listen to your mother! No, I'm going to the concert. No, get back here. This is a disaster, Ming. How could you let this happen? Her life is ruined. Ming, it's okay. How could she do this to her own mother? Ming? Uh-oh. Poof. 
May, you're here? What are you doing here? I couldn't do it. The panda's part of me, and you guys are too. You threw us under the bus. I know, and I'm sorry. I've been obsessed with my mom's approval my whole life. I couldn't take losing it. But losing you guys feels even worse. For town forever? For town forever. Tyler? <gasps> Tyler? Who's Tyler? I don't know, uh... OMG, welcome to the sisterhood. No way. Yeah, he's one of us. Whatever, dorks. For town, for town. Toronto, who knows what's up? You want it? I want it! Ah! May May! May May, where are you? Ah! Mom? Out of the way. We have to save your mother. May, we have to do the ritual again. You are in big trouble, young lady. I'm shutting this down. This isn't you. Poof. This is me. I'm not your little May May anymore. I lied. It was my idea to hustle the panda. My idea to go to Tyler's party. It was all me. The ritual. Everyone in position. May, keep her in the circle. Sorry, I'm not good enough. And sorry I'll never be like you. Oh no, Mom. Mom? You have to get in the circle. Wake up, I'm sorry. Sun Yi, give me strength. Poof. Don't just stand there. Poof. We're with you. Louder. Sing from the heart. The circle isn't working. Boom, ka, chaka, boom, ka, chaka. Four Town joins in too. In the astral realm. Mom? Mom! <gasps> I'm sorry. It's all my fault. I hurt her, my mom. I got so angry and I lost control. I'm so sick of being perfect. I'm never going to be good enough for her or anyone. I know it feels that way, like all the time, but it isn't true. Come on, you're okay. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm your mother. May Sun Yi guide you and keep you safe. One at a time, ladies, and quickly. That's it? Mei Mei's keeping the panda? Go ahead. It's okay. No, Mei Mei, please, just come with me. I'm changing, Mom. I'm finally figuring out who I am. Me too. But I'm scared it'll take me away from you. You try to make everyone happy, but you are so hard on yourself. If I taught you that, I'm sorry. So don't hold back for anyone. The farther you go, the prouder I'll be. I'm not going to regret this, am I? Poof! One month later. I'm Mei Lin Lee, and ever since I turned 13, life's been a lot. Mom and I just call it growing pains. Things at the temple have never been better. You ready? Let's do this. Hello, welcome to our temple. What up, Toronto? Get in here. Our temple is the oldest in Toronto and the only one that's home to the great red panda. Say bamboo leaves, bamboo leaves. May. Yo, what's up? Hey, furball. Ready to get your karaoke on? Totally. Poof. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. I'll be back before dinner, okay? Fine. Oh, um, you're welcome to join us. For Mr. Lee's cooking? Dude, yes! Mmm. We are so there. And yeah, sometimes I miss how things work. But nothing stays the same forever. We've all got an inner beast. 
We've all got a messy, loud, weird part of ourselves hidden away, and a lot of us never let it out. But I did. How about you? The end. Thanks for listening! Don't forget to like and subscribe for regular uploads. If you have a favorite book you'd like read, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Until next time, friends!